up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Assassin! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. Mr. Untouchable. All right, great to be losing the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike tonight. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Straight right, he misses. Nice. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the center. Nice. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He's going after the head. There's no tell on that leg kick. Liver kick. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Oh, 
Oh, nice job to block the kick. And there comes the separation now. Oh, collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? And both guys really throwing with authority. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands he's hurt. Three minutes in our opening round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Just missed with the left there. Cut them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Upstairs. Knee to the body now, it's blocked. How about that shin? What a body kick. Punch over the top. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice leg kick lands. Beats the elbow there. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Dig and kick. Oh, nice. 15 seconds to go. <laughs> that horn sound means we have reached the end of round one. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round. DC, take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience, shows his fight IQ. Right hook to the head blocked. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great, 
how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that he drops a big right hand after it. He may be able to finish the fight. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. They continue to exchange. Oh, big uppercut there. Didn't get the knockdown, but that is a significant strike. A very significant strike. And now his opponent may start to drop the hands to block the uppercut. So look for him to throw something else now up top. Plus right hand is true. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. He can't take any of those kicks. <laughs> Circling to his right. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh! Huge kick to the head. He went high on that one. Oh! Big kick land. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big body kick lands. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Boy, tie plump. Goes attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was gonna be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Thirty seconds to go in round two. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Ten high, minutes high, high. in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment.
All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Nice kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. He loaded up there on that high kick. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Punches. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Big kick lands. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot for the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Look at the angle of that nice body. Big punch lands through the middle. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Let your hands go. Nice kick. Nice. Nice, nice defense there. Huge block. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Look at the turnover in that kick. <laughs> Big punch land. Ooh. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Trying to hammer that lead leg. It's such a fast leg kick. <laughs> Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Over the top. This fight's gonna be over. DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, big left.
Trey Wright is there. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Beautiful body kick. Can't take many of those left checks. Able to check that kick as well. Use the high kick. Come on, keep busy, keep busy. Beat up his body. Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh! Good work blocking the knee. <laughs> Try to establish that jab. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Nice sneaky head kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! You be first. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Under two minutes now to go. Oh! Wow! Huge head kick! Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Looking to land the leg kick now. Ooh, big shot lands. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Keep moving. Nice. Good. 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 Good.
tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh! Nice. Knee to the body. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to play very fast. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Ooh, what a punch. And he lands the knee to the body now. He lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? It is the fifth and final round. Oh, what a huge head kick. An uppercut lead. Now landed clean. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Powerful leg kick lands. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch land over the top. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Just misses with the straight right. Leg kick. Block that kick to the body. Real nice body kick lands. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. So on the right side, major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Real quick leg kick. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? That was a thudding leg kick. That one's up in. Nice strike. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Easy 
get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're gonna lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. And he caught the kick. Connects with the right. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Big kick. Good punch, Lance. 30 seconds to go here. Seconds left. Defense. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, a huge block there. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. The final horn sounds. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you gotta think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. decision now in the buff has it ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score this contest 49 46 declared the winner by unanimous decision mr all right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting.